Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new night of streaming and the continuation of the Around the World Playthrough Challenge. Tonight, we are playing as Russia, and uh, we've spent quite a bit of time tonight putting together our start and finding the, the right one. We've had quite a few interesting starts pop up with our roles, and we finally landed on one that was uh, voted on in a majority. I think it was about 54% landed on uh, our dies start here. We've got a good amount of tundra, and we're also pretty close to our planes outside of the tundra, so we can have access to a few other things like horses and whatnot. Um, and so with all that in mind, we will be um, having a very fun rush to start here. We've got a good amount of resources. We've got some luxuries. Uh, we do have some deer, so we could probably do a TOA in the capital, which would help us with food and housing. And uh, we'll be able to get a decent start here. We do have a volcano. Oh, man, I knew that would happen if I opened another can. Oh, excuse me. Um, <laughs> we'll probably settle one turn away from it. <clears throat> so not only will we get our tundra settle... Not only will we get our tundra settle, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh guys that's a, this is all going to stay in by the way none of this is going to get edited out for youtube um <laughs> we'll get our tundra settle air score and then we'll also get air score for being near the volcano oh my gosh <laughs> i like my brain just stopped for a moment <laughs> when i heard that oh man Anyway, that, that's the kind of fun we have on Twitch. If you guys haven't followed us on Twitch yet and you're watching me on YouTube, be sure to go give us a follow. We're live four times a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I live in Arizona, so we'll, we, we will be having a time zone change here soon. By the time you see this, it will probably already have happened. Um, but right now, I'm about three hours behind Eastern. Soon, I'll just be two hours behind Eastern, which is nice. And so you guys can join us uh, those four weeknights. We'll do a couple nights of Civ, and then right now we've, we're actually, we've actually gotten into uh, Age of Empires 4 a little bit, and we're also playing through some of the Halo campaigns. Also, this month in November, Skyrim Anniversary Edition is coming out, and I'm probably going to lose a lot of time playing that as well, because I love Skyrim, and it's one of the only games I've ever perfected with all the achievements. So, definitely got some fun stuff going on here at Twitch. All right, let's talk about Peter, shall we? Good old Peter. So we've got the Grand Embassy, which gives us extra science and culture from trade routes from civilizations that are more advanced than us. Uh, and it's plus one per three technologies or civics ahead. So that helps us if we fall behind a little bit. Uh, we've got Mother Russia, which provides us um, extra territory upon founding, plus one faith and plus one production from Tundra units, or sorry, from Tundra. And then units do not receive damage from blizzards. Civilizations that are at war with Russia receive plus 100% unit damage from blizzards in Russian territory. We have our Cossack, which is our unique industrial air unit that replaces the cavalry, so it's light cavalry. It is stronger than cavalry and gains plus five combat strength when fighting in or adjacent to its home territory. Can move after attacking if movement points remain. And then, of course, we have our unique um, infrastructure, which is our Lavra. It's our unique holy site, which provides um, great writer, great artist, and great musician points. So what this does is once we build a... Um, shrine, we get plus one great writer. Once we build a temple, we get plus one artist. And when we build our worship building, we get plus one musician points. So we're going to be able to accrue some great, uh, great works and some great people that way. We're probably going to be very culturally focused in our game tonight. And uh, that's typically how I like to play Russia. Russia with the right start could be good for domination uh, with their Cossacks. They could also do well with... Uh, with a space race, if you've got some good mountains and some good campuses. So, a couple different ways you can go about it. All right, let's talk about our start here. So, yeah, perfect timing on that, guys. Great people as scouts. Yeah, send out the great writers and the great artists. Um, we are on North America, funny enough, and uh, we have a pretty appealing start. We've got some fresh water here. We've got a river uh, that extends out that way. We've got a lake, and we're relatively close to... Um, non-tundra tiles as well, so we can have access to a few other things like horses and whatnot. Um, to really know what our start's all about, especially what's this way, I want to see what's in more of the tundra. I'm going to move my warrior onto that hill there. So we have more deer. 
So this adds to our TOA. So right now we've got four tiles potentially for TOA in a capital around here. Um, if I settle across the river, which I'm thinking about doing, we will have probably TOA here uh, next to this camp so it can reach that deer, reach that irrigation, reach that irrigation, have that deer. So that'd be a four, four amenities from that, which would be nice. But I do want to settle away from the volcano if I can to avoid um, having issues with the volcano really messing us up. So I think I'm going to move a tile away. We'll still get error score for settling near it and for settling on the tundra. It's funny, it's suggesting there or there or there. But that's not even fresh water. Why would you suggest that tile or here? Or there. If I settle across the river, I can settle further down this river. So, yeah, if I settle here, then I can settle right there. Which apparently is not a very good city. Cool. Uh, let's move across and do a turn two settle. I think that's going to be best for us. We'll still have our city surrounded by tundra tiles. And we'll have a nice luxury nearby for us to start working on. That will get some bonuses right away just by settling near it. So I don't typically like to do turn two settles. But in this case, I think it's worth it to avoid too much damage from the volcano. What's nice is that the uh, dyes here also are in Tundra, so we're getting a good use out of those. So I'm gonna work that tile. So right now we're generating three faith per turn, one from our city center and two from this die. So we're gonna go explore Tundra. We got another deer tile. That would actually, if I have TOA here, it would actually reach it as well. Let's see, where is TOA? Right there. So if I do go for TOA, it could still reach that deer. So that's five tiles so far, five resources within TOA range. I think I'm going to jump into Animal Husbandry first so I can improve the deer. And uh, we'll go from there. We'll probably uh, do a tech or two and then we'll jump into Astrology so we can work on our religion as well. Now let's get a scout going. The main issue in our capital will probably be growth for a little bit. Oh, there's another deer because of the lack of food. But we can probably make it work. I'm seeing that this... Oh, that would still reach it because it has to be four tiles. So that could still work, actually. I was thinking I might need to move TOA, but I can probably still keep it there. One, two, three, four, five, six tiles now. Six uh, TOA-able resources. Ah, and a goodie hat. Lovely. We got a barb camp that way, so I'm heading in the right direction. I'll swing that way in just a minute and see what's going on with the barbs. Oh, they wanted to say hi first. Ooh, extra population. Mm-hmm. That ain't bad. What did it jump to? What's it where oh this tile? I'm wondering if I should work that or if I should work the extra culture. Or the gold. Hmm, decisions. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> Can also jump over here and get the Pantheon even faster. That'd be plus five faith per turn. Let's do that at least until we get our Pantheon. We'll get a super fast Pantheon. All right, let's see where your home is. Oh, you're right there. Nice. Real nice. All right, let's take a look at what's south of us here. Maybe meet a neighbor. All right, let's start working on a settler. Let's get you there until we've got the barbarian card enabled. Hmm, another goodie hut. Lovely. And the uh, river there. Oh, hello. First meet. On Cahokia. Ooh, they're close. And a free scout. Can't complain with that. I'm going to send you that way. So we're getting some extra uh, gold. And now I'm going to switch off of this. And I think I wanted to work that extra culture there for a little bit. Push our civics. So we pretty much have free reign right now on the Pantheons. I don't think anything has been taken. We can get the Free Settler. We can get um, Dance of the Aurora. We can get Divine Spark. We can get Goddess of the Hunt. 
We could get uh, culture on our uh, plantations with our dyes. What do you guys think here? What would be best? Yeah, no, the marble is on plains. It just, it's white a little bit there, but this is a plains hill. Yeah, it's not on tundra. But getting that one extra culture boosts us a little bit more on our civics at the beginning with that extra population we grabbed. So what are we thinking? I mean, grabbing an early settler with Russia is pretty nice. The white is the marble. Yeah, but you can also see, I mean, the tundra does creep into this tile a little bit. And it kind of stops, like, right here. And then the rest is white marble. Yeah. It can be a little deceiving. Like, even here, you see there's a bit of white here. But this is still a grasslands tile. Same here on the marsh. It just kind of bleeds over and blends in a little bit. So it's not like a cut line, you know? Now, if you were to look at this in the strategic view, I mean, it cuts off right at the line. <laughs> so you know exactly where your tundra is. But, uh, yeah, in the standard view, it just kind of bleeds over. <laughs> Deception! Lies! Deceit! Every day, more lies! All right, what are we thinking, guys? I wouldn't mind having another settler pop out. I just don't really have anybody to escort him right now. I guess I could revert the scout back, or I could send this guy up, because I'm thinking of settling the river further down. There's a lot of fresh water, and I can settle there, and then I can come down and settle here. I can settle up this way. There's a river in the snow. There's the other side of the lake as well. So we got a few spots here, for sure. Hmm. Do I want crazy powerful holy sites? I mean, I really like doing that as Russia, to be honest. We don't have to go that way if we don't want to. Why is the faith per turn only three? Uh, because I turned it off of this now. I switched it off and went over to the culture. So it was at five, and now I've got it on the culture, so we're getting extra culture instead of the extra faith because I don't need it anymore because I pushed for the Pantheon really fast. We're on turn nine, and we're getting our Pantheon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And why is it two faith? Or is that what you're asking? Are the other people not working? No. We've got this one worked. And that's still a good tile to work. In fact, if I un unlocked it, yeah, it would still work it. So it wants to work that one. Okay. Ah, decisions, decisions. I like the free settler and I like Dance of the Aurora. <laughs> we never really get the the settler and plus plus uh, the 15 percent border expansion <laughs> with russia is pretty op as well i mean we're still going to get a ton of faith from our territory no matter what so we don't have to have crazy holy sites faith is more useful long term in my opinion than getting that early uh early settler you might be right. And there is plenty of tundra here for us to take advantage of, too. Yeah, I think long term the faith will be a lot better to have better holy sites. So it'll be great if you already have a second city location. I kind of do over here, but not really firm. So we're going to go Dance of the Aurora. We're going to get Mega Holy Sites. Maddish Moose with the raid. Welcome in, Raiders. Cheers. How's it going? We just got our Russia game started. How are you guys doing this evening? Welcome in, Raiders. Hope you're doing well. Watch out. Maddish Moose is on the loose. <laughs> yeah, he is. He definitely is. And we picked up a governor title because we met Cahokia with secret societies. So we need to pop somebody up here in our capital. <clears throat> mm hmm. Who to be, though? Who be? 
Oh, yes, Russia. Very exciting. We've got Russia, and then we've got uh, three big sieves after this as well. After Russia, we have Scotland, and then Spain, and then Sweden. And that will finish out Europe in our playthrough challenge. And then we're off to the Americas. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That was raunchy. Jeez, Dr. Pepper. Nice. <laughs> Um, but welcome in, Raiders. Hope you guys are doing well. Sorry for that burp. Um, it happens. Because my favorite drink is, right now, Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. Hashtag not sponsored. Wish I was, though, but never will be. Um, I think grabbing Magnus early would be nice, because we've got a couple tiles we can, we can shop. A couple woods, like down here and over here. And plus, we can get into a situation where we can start popping out settlers from the capital if we have enough faith with the Monumentality Golden Age. I think that'd be good to prepare for and have that in place in case it does happen. Never say never, foibles. <laughs> you never know. Oops, I said it again. My bad. Oh, we got sheep. Nice. Uh, let's start exploring a bit more. Oh, we've got a purple CS there, too. Let's see if we're first meet there. We met Cahokia. So that'll be helpful with uh, housing, and we'll we'll need some housing for help. But we've we've got a decent TOA set up here too. We've got two dies and four deer, and we're just waiting to get our card before we start attacking that uh, barbarian camp. I should have gone down first. If I'm not a first meet, then I'm gonna kick myself. Uh, let's grab mining so we can actually do some of those chops that we told ourselves we do. I'm going to go explore a little bit more of the tundra this way as well. There we go. Oh, I'm not a first meat. Gosh dang it, I'm going to kick myself. Mm. <laughs> Gosh dang it. So somebody's south there. That's good to know. One more turn. One more turn! Thanks for the lurk, man. Enjoy your show. Thanks for bringing your uh, community and depositing them into the Bank of Foibles. Well, I know where our next city's going to go. Hmm. Interesting. Got a lake tile right on it, though. It's a little awkward. But now we've got uh, astrology boosted, so we're going to jump right into that after we do mining. Okay, okay. That extra culture is helping us out a bit there with the marble. Uh, let's put on some cards, including that one, and let's do the production one. Mm, there. Lots of tundra that way, lots of hills. Oh, nice. The TOA would be affected by, or let's see here, one, two, three, four. Yeah, the sheep there would be part of it. That's funny. So we'd have seven tiles now, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, that's pretty good. Seven amenities. 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 Sorry, my Pokemon fandom was showing, I guess. Oh, I guess so, yeah. There's the second city location. Indeed. Probably right around this area. I'm going to cross through it and explore this area and see what's going on. While this guy continues to look around here. And uh, we take out this camp. Hi, Nubia. Gabloco. Una mena. I like that word for friend, amena. Oh, her capital's over there. I'm definitely going to need to settle this way. Hey, thanks for the follow. Esper, is it Esperance? Esperance. Gracias por el follow. <laughs> Welcome into the community. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining us. Oh, I need to name the city. Almost forgot. We do have city name redemption down in the channel point stuffs. Now, there was a scout this way, so I got to be careful. I'm going to try and... Oh, he's going that way, it looks like, so hopefully he continues that way. Naked settler on the loose. Nudist. Nudist settler. Just snow that way. Okay. 
Bum, 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 bum. So I'll probably plop a city here. And I'll probably come plop a city down here as well. About right there. And then I can do a snow settle with a couple tundra tiles near me. For some error score. I can't settle here though. But I could settle like somewhere in the middle. And I have, I'd have some options for aqueducting. So that'd be fine. Also, we could preserve some tiles in between the capital and that city as well. And then we'll probably plop a city somewhere around here. Still trying to figure out exactly where, but that'll give us error score for settling near it. Rah, rah, Rasputin. That's a good one. That's a good one. I got to add that to the list. Give me a second. Copy paste, baby. Ra ra Rasputin, lover of the Russian queen. Do 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 do. Oh, we get Nubia music. I do like Nubia's music quite a bit. Gets better as it goes on. I'm gonna go back this way. Not too much to see. Take it easy, okay? One tile at a time, baby. Oh, great. So we've got a wonder near us. I'll probably use it for holy site adjacencies. At least on two of the spots near it. I knew that was going to happen. That's why I fortified. I fortified myself. I think I'm actually going to move this to be right there. Still get the error score. We'll be able to claim the entire wonder. Blurg. Oh my gosh. Promotion time. Thank you very much for giving me some skills. Looking for a random goody hut up here. Russia's greatest oo bean. <laughs> to say and to change the song. Ra Ra Rasputin, Russia's greatest uwu bean. Wow. That's cute. Random goody hut. Reveal yourself. New to Civ game? Well, great. I'm glad you decided to join us this evening. If you have any questions about anything I'm doing, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to answer. So we do have another lake up there. Hmm. And a lake there. Little pocket lakes. Not terribly worth settling, though. To be honest. What I'll probably do is have this city kind of absorb these lake tiles. The city will work these tiles here. This one will work these tiles here. This one here. All right. Error score. Away! Got some nice tiles to work there already. All right. We're getting close to a golden age here. We're going to need to get our lavas down in a little while. So we can... Uh, Push for religion. But this was a good settle over here for sure. Lots of deer. Fortunately, this one's probably going to get eaten by the volcano, so maybe I'll try to harvest it or something. Lots of hills that way. Bum bum ba dum. This will probably be our St. Basil city. Because I'll have all the Upsoner hollow tiles within, this, within the Tundra city. Then if I can get a couple preserves on it too. Mm. Mwah. 
I can get a preserve here and here. Put that city's preserve there, and if I have a city up here, I can do another one there. <clears throat> Only problem is, I'd, well, I'd want a good holy site spot, too. Hmm. I can still get a good holy site over here. Oh, you know, I forgot. I've got the uh, Dance of the Aurora, don't I? I can put my holy site anywhere. So, yeah, we'll keep that like that. And we'll put, like, our holy site, I don't know, here? Because <laughs> it's going to be plus six. <laughs> get a campus over here. Get a campus over here. Probably put the capital's holy site like right there. Hey, thanks for the follow. Dalpha Dog. DA Alpha Dog. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. That'll do, donkey. Do something like that. Because this city won't have a lot of tundra for the uh, for the lava, but a plus five and a plus seven are still great. Then we can kind of surround that uh, campus and make it a plus four. That works out. And then if this city can reach over here, if this is open, that would be the primo campus spot. Hope I already moved with you. Cool. Got some plans. Nothing too crazy, I don't think. Let's go see what's this way. Because if there's some fresh water... Oh my gosh. If there's some fresh water, <laughs> I want to settle it. Leave it to Zebra. <laughs> Excuse me. Good heavens. Gonna have some gold for a builder soon. Maybe cut through here and see what else is over in the tundra. Oops. Ooh, lovely. Desert, wow. So what I could do here is maybe settle like right here. And then we aqueduct the snow tile. And then this city can put that uh, that preserve down. And then that'll enhance the wonder here <clears throat> once we build St. Basil's here. Which I do plan to do in this city. Wunderbar. Yes, city name redeems. Thank you. <laughs> Zebra. This one's for you, bud. <laughs> Wait, why is it doing like a weird space thing there? Hold on. There. I don't know why I did that. Had the weird boxes going. There we go. Time for Russian Petra, pretty much. And I'm also going to preserve this, too. See what comes of it. Lots of hills over there. Really wishing I had a hill promotion right now. All right, let's get a builder. Oh, it did it on the capital, too. I just realized that. 
Oh, there's our timer. Oops. Yes, I know. I was trying to fix my capital name. Let's finish our moves and then we'll finish the episode here. Ooh, desert. Ooh, promotion. You need hills. Hill promotion. Oh, thank you. Hills and tundra. You'll be able to move super fast. Very good. All right. So let's put a cut in the uh, play for YouTube here. If you guys are watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And also click on our links down in our video description where you can download our checklist and join our Discord community where you can grab some game seeds to play along with us. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.